is a flourishing, growing city with a vision to be a world-class financial and business center. Doha has a number of high-value destinations, attracting a variety of commuters and visitors. Currently, the majority of people travel around Doha by car, with the remainder traveling by taxi or bus. As a result of Doha's growth, this results in a significant amount of congestion on Doha's roads at peak periods, leading to traffic jams and delays. Doha Metro will enable people to move around Doha effectively, alleviating some of the traffic problems. Qatar Rail's metro system is composed of four lines, red line, green line, gold line, and blue line. Each line has an underground section and also an elevated section. Through the heart of Doha, the lines are underground. These elements will be constructed using tunnel boring machines, or TBMs. At 10 locations, there will be launching shafts for the TBMs. And as far as the underground works go, these will be the only visible signs of the tunneling. Taking one example, at Albida, there will be four TBMs launched, two in the direction of Musharab and two towards West Bay Central via West Bay South. The following animation shows how a TDM works in Doha. Earth pressure balance or EPB machines are also used in Doha. With its routing cutting wheel, the tunnel machine breaks the material from the tunnel face. The material is then transferred to a conveyor for extraction at the launch shaft. Hydraulic cylinders press the machine forward. The reinforced concrete segments are installed under the protection of the shield skin. The process is then repeated, driving the TBM forward. The subsequent backup of the machine accommodates all the logistic requirements for overall operation of the machine. The working of an EPB tunnel machine is basically made up of two phases, the tunneling phase and the ring building phase. Before any tunneling starts, precondition surveys will be carried out on buildings along the route. Key monitoring points will be installed and in the unlikely event of any changes, actions will be triggered. And for the bulk of the residents, there will be no indication of the tunnel passing beneath them. There's a small possibility that some minor vibrations may be felt by some people. The TBMs have been specially commissioned by Qatar Rail, with key features to ensure that the tunnels are constructed under the safest conditions both for the tunnel crews and also for the citizens of Qatar. These include monitoring and injection grouting from the TBM to ensure stability of the ground if required. For tunneling under cities, TBMs are the preferred method and have been used in most of the major cities in the world, including London, Paris, New York, Dubai, Zurich, Cairo, Abu Dhabi. This is not new technology, not even for Qatar. Once the TBM work is completed, the stations will be finalized. His Highness the Emir recently chose the vaulted spaces architectural concept for the stations. The following animation shows what the completed stations will look like. And whilst the tunneling is completed below the streets, the station work will continue in discrete areas safely. Life will go on in Doha, and the city will continue to grow, unaffected by the metro work.